Well, last week construction began in what is to be a casino at this year's Liberation Carnival Grounds in Paseo, which sparked an uproar from anti-gambling groups. TNC's Donna DeJesus has a story. The 73rd Guam Liberation Carnival will be opening soon at the Paseo, and this year's theme is Strength in Unity. But at the moment, there isn't much unity when it comes to the casino that is currently being built on the carnival grounds. Attorney Jay Ariola of the anti-gambling organization Keep Guam Good was very vocal about his opposition to the construction of the metal structure. I question how they've obtained a permit for building a permanent structure on government of Guam property uh, for government use, that's what the permit says. And so I think the public works, excuse me, public parks and rec needs to be uh, inquired upon as to how they were able to build such a structure and who, who provided the funding for it, whether there was any bid put out, whether the people uh, were investigated or, or background checks were performed on who's really building the structure, who's funding it certainly looks kind of a lot like a Saipan structure going up with the gold doors and the Chinese characters on the front. Um, and we have serious concerns that have never been answered, never been answered by the mayor's council. Who's the vendor? How much does the mayor's council or the Guam Liberation Historical Society make every year out of this? And where's all the money going? And most importantly, where are the documents that are supposed to be filed at Reven Tax? The permit was obtained on May 4th, and according to Aganya Heights Mayor Paul McDonald, who was also a founding member of the Guam Liberation Historical Society, the construction began about a week ago. Although Attorney Ariola says there has been steady public outcry against casino gambling over the years. What they're doing is they're flipping the finger up at the legislature and then the people of Guam saying, you know, we don't care what you think. Really, mayors? You don't care? Mayor McDonald says otherwise. The whole... Uh Festivity is uh, run by the public and not by the mayors. You know, the historical uh, society is, is public. I was bothered when, uh, especially when Jay Ariola came out and said that uh, Governor Kabul was the only governor that allowed gambling, and which is not true. I'd like uh, for him to know that Governor Guterres uh, did allow uh, for the eight years that he was in casino gambling. The only governor that did not allow it was Governor Camacho. McDonald adds that should casino gambling at the carnival be banned, the mayor's council will not be involved in organizing future Liberation Day carnivals, which the mayor says would be stopping a tradition that was preserved since the war, but anti-gambling activists continue to seek support from the legislature. Appropriate officials need to intervene. Uh, follow the legislature. Oversight. Call these people back in. Just a couple of weeks ago, they were before the legislature whining about how they need this money and they don't have any other money and we, we, we don't even want the responsibility. If you're going to take away casino gambling, well then take away the whole liberation fair. Well, maybe they should. Maybe they should. People have suggested go over to GVB since GVB is supposedly the premier organizer for such activities. Uh, send this over to them. Uh, but yeah, if they don't want it, they shouldn't be putting up $30,000 buildings. And we all know what, what they're trying to do. They're trying to backdoor this in to put a permanent structure down in the Ganya so they can say, hey, look, we invested all this money in a $30,000 shack down there with gold doors. Now we got to have casino gambling every year, year round. Mayor McDonald says there was never casino gambling year round and adds that casinos would not be necessary if there was a better funding source. We're just trying to do uh, with what we have and, and I'm sure that that again going back to the funding hey we'll be happy to to don't we don't have to go bid it out we just have the the funding to go and and have the festivities uh, once a year and, and we're fine we, um, we don't need the casino if the money is there reporting for PNC I'm Donna de Jesus